Alright, so the waiting is over and you're now flush with the Samset rum. Alright, usually doesn't lag that much. Um, we're gonna install lag fix though, just to make it run a little faster. And there's custom icons, which is pretty cool, and a custom status bar. And some other few tweaks that aren't found in the, uh, the stock firmware. But okay, so we're just gonna exit out of this, or at least minimize it. And then we're going to go to the CF lag fix, which is in here. Excellent open word. Um, I'm gonna give the link in the video description. Should be the lag fix that we were gonna download earlier. And once you have that downloaded, you wanna go ahead and open the folder. And all we're going to do first, again, Go to settings, applications, development, USB debugging is already checked, which is good. Sorry about the glare again. And then we'll go ahead we're gonna go ahead and run this program called cflagfix.exe. And then over here on the phone we're gonna allow for a super user request and then it'll open up on your computer and what I did was I just did the full automated or automatic mode and everything and this takes a while so be patient and it'll just monitor your progress down here um, it's good. it'll tell you it's gonna take a long time so I'm gonna come back later and um, when this is loaded, I'll continue with the tutorial. Okay, so it looks like that the CF log fix program is pretty much done. It'll say done on the bottom, and your phone will be on this main screen. So what we're going to do now is we'll first set up your Wi-Fi, and then your Gmail account, and then we're going to go to the market. I already have this downloaded, but you want to go search for two apps, one called SamServe Mode, for the headphone fix. Another one called sorry for the glare, but um another one called Quadrant Standard. Just set, just search quadrant and that's the first one that'll come up. And that's for the benchmark test that we're gonna do at the end of this review. Now I already have this downloaded. Um so I'm just gonna go to the um headphone fix program first, which is the SamServe mode. And what we're gonna do first oops go to the main menu and then I have a link um, on the video description again for a page on XDA tutorials or XDA developers um, under the tutorial section um, let's see where it is okay so it's this page and then we're just gonna follow the instructions on screen so first what you want to do is go to audio which is number five and then you're gonna go to headsets second one and then you're going to oh yeah you're, then you're gonna go to the diamond solution which is the last one and then you're gonna go to the last one which is one mic TX that's on and then you want to go to the number two which is oh well you're gonna go to number one first and make sure that you put number one so when you enter value, you're going to press the menu button and then press key input and make sure it's on number one. Okay, and then um, after that, you're going to go to the second option, which is for coef table. And you want to every um, all these like from one to six or one to seven were wherever um, they're not going to look like this. This is what you want it to look like. But they're going to look like something else, and you're just going to click on every one, go back to the menu, press key input again, and then make sure it's on zero. Press OK. And then every single one of them should look like this. And then when you're done, the headphone should be, uh, the headphone quality should be a lot better. 
and you'll be able to enjoy that. So the next thing we're going to do is go to this program called Quadrant Standard and that's just to run the benchmark tests. All you're going to do is make sure you have a Wi-Fi connection and then run full benchmark. Just going to wait for that to load. Okay, then you're just going to press yes, and here are your benchmarks. So you see uh, we're at 2162, which is way above the rest of them, even the stock Samsung Galaxy S. So without your custom ROM, custom firmware, and lag fix, um, you're going to end up here. But after that, you're going to end up here once you install everything. And you'll get that once you go through this whole guide, which I'm pretty sure you did since you're watching the end of the tutorial. But anyways, um, that's what your phone's going to be like at the end. And this benchmark is just um, here to prove it. So that's pretty much what the what rooting the Android phone should be about. Um, it should be about making your phone a little faster, a lot faster actually, and installing some custom themes for here. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was easy to understand. And if you like any more, or if you like this tutorial, uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Or if you have any more questions, go ahead and comment in the comment section below. And I'll have all the download links and the website links on the video description below. So make sure to check out that. And I'll see you in the next video review.